guys, um, this is going to be my tutorial on how to do the mapping on the NVIDIA Shield for the Parrot Bebop drone. Um, just going to go through a brief description of how to do it. Uh, it sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. Um, so this will be my walkthrough just to show you how to do everything. Um, the first thing you're going to do is actually <clears throat> open up the app, launch it. Um, well, actually connect to the Wi-Fi on the drone open up the app, launch it, and get it up to um, where you're actually viewing the drone so you can see where the different buttons are so you know where to put your your mapping stuff. Um, so basically what you're going to do is start off by pressing the start button down, holding it down until this screen pops up. Now you won't have all of these little lines on here. This is where I've already done mapping. Um, I do recommend getting a stylus. I actually recommend getting two. I need to pick up another one so I can do these lines a little straighter. Um, I do find you do have to do them at the same time and it's a little hard to do it with uh, just your fingers. Um, so I do recommend getting two of the little styluses here so you can do it. Um, but I'm going to go through basically how to do different buttons and to do other stuff. Um, I do have my buttons in here, my right trigger and my left trigger. Uh, that's for taking pictures and turning on and off the video recording. Um, I did put the Y over here for the trim so I can just hit the Y button and it sets the trim. I don't have to touch the screen for that. Um, I'm also going to put a button over here, um, and it'll be the B button for the map, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I'll show you how to do the lines here, and show you how to check it, make sure everything is working. Um, these buttons up here, the triggers, do seem to be a little touchy, uh, so I would put one there, and then go out, see if it works, and then, you know, test it as you do it until you get the right spot so that it actually works for the button. Uh, but basically, if you're going to put a button, you grab the button that's right here. You don't want to touch the pads here, the, the left um, analog stick or the right stick. You want to just grab these here. So you're going to grab this here and then bring it over to where you want it. So I'm going to bring it right over here to where the map is at. And then you'll have a little question mark there. Basically what you're going to do is press the key that you want and it'll pop up right here. Um, so then once you do that, you can exit out of here. Right? and now if I hit the B see it's not working exactly so what you'll have to do is grab it and you can go to move and then move it down I find it go down a little bit and it'll actually work usually uh, let's try it there see if it works there see now I don't have a map preloaded for where I'm out of inside the house so it won't pull up but that's where the map would normally come up there and see now that button it works just by hitting the button here by hitting the B um, to do these where you get these going in um, I'll show you on this one here the going right one green is where you start so I put these in in the other thing so what we'll do is I'll actually delete this one because I don't have it going that well there and then what you want to do is you hit this little swipe thing right here so then you swipe to make your gesture and this is where I say having two of these will actually come in handy I'm gonna do it with my fingers for now so you go to and just swipe over a little bit and let it go then what you do is you press the part on the d-pad in order to make that gesture so I'll hit to the right and now it is there so then what I'll do is we'll go X out of here and I'll show you if you hit don't want to work right now there it goes See, for some reason that one's not working properly so we'll hit it back sometimes you may have to see it didn't save it for some reason what we're going to do is re-hit that again just like that there it goes I must have been hitting it wrong there you have to make sure you hit it the right way okay there we go then if you go you hit here uh, I messed him up a little bit, but you get the point. You, you just have to really um, work with it a bit to get it to work, and that's what I, I'm trying to work on the panning part of it. That's why I want two of the styluses. They will work a little bit better. Um, you know, if I can get two to go, I'll go ahead and just redo them all right here, so you can you can actually see. Okay, so basically you'll hit the swipe like that. Okay, and then start here and go over just a little bit. You don't want to make it too subtle, otherwise it goes too far over. So if you're going this way, that's going to move the camera to that side. So what I'll do is I'll hit left. And then we'll do 
another swipe now see it's a little squiggly it's gonna go the other way and now when I do it you're gonna see the camera will move a little bit that's why I want to get two of these but I just want to show you guys basically how to do it um, you know that way you can figure out you know work with it a little bit play with it um, you know it takes a little bit of practice to to get um, get to do it so um, you know you just like I said you just do it like this and, and then down Okay. All right up down okay there we go so now when I hit down see it'll go down when I hit up it comes back up go to the right to the left see but you see how it moves a little bit that's just because I don't have a straight line I think if I get two of these styluses kind of tape them together so they go at a different angle I can make the line a lot straighter and it'll pan a lot better but then you have pretty much you can hit that one there you take the you, you hit the right trigger I have my camera set that's for the video for the trim and then for my map which my map stops working you gotta play with it sometimes it, it takes a little bit of you know see the map I actually must have deleted it when I did the other thing so put that right there and then you hit the button so you put the button like I just dragged this over here put it to where you want it and then hit the button that you want to select and it will select it up there Get the exit back out and see now the map works so that's pretty much my basic um, tutorial on how to just uh, map the, uh, the Nvidia shield um, when I first got this I thought it was gonna be a lot more complicated than it actually is it's very simple to do just remember you want to open up you want to get everything set up so that you're viewing it through the drone and then you want to go ahead and you'll hold down the start button right here and that'll pop this up once this comes up you can go like this if you look on the parrot forms there are some people that uploaded theirs you can start with theirs if you want to try them um, I found they didn't work exactly the way I wanted them to a lot of people I guess are having the same issue with the the d-pad control it's not as smooth that's why I want to try it with the two styluses. so I have to go pick up another one of these um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them, help you out with anything I can. Alright, thanks a lot, and you guys have a great day.